What slappy ducks? Oh my god! <laughs> hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome to L. So this is a game that I found on itch.io while I was browsing and it's kinda similar to Simulacra and Sarah has gone missing, except it's not exactly horror. Um, it's about a girl who's gone missing and we have her phone. We're trying to find her. So hopefully nothing terrible happens uh, when we uh, go through her phone and stuff. But I, I'm pretty sure it's not a horror game, but there are like sad uh, storylines with it. So hopefully, you know, this person has a nice ending. I hope so. Anyway, before we get started, if you guys would like to get the game yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. It is free to play and also I'll leave a link to the creator's stuff and their work as well. All right, let's begin. Jesus. And you're sure this is the most recent picture you have of That her? was so loud. Yes, I, I think so, yes. Now, Mrs. Hayes. Oh, Diane, please. Um, Diane is fine. Diane, listen. She's only been gone a couple of days. Kids do this sometimes. It happens. Uh, what's important is that you keep calm. Can you do that, Diane? Of course, I'll... I'll try. Now, I'm here because Officer Jackson, down at the station, found this. Oh my god. On the side of the interstate, northbound. That's hers. That's that's Ellen's phone. Now, this Ellen. doesn't mean the Interstate? That... Why, why would... What, what would she be doing heading north up the interstate? Why would she... Well, we, we can't say for sure. But more than likely, she dropped it while traveling northbound along the freeway on foot. Probably hitchhiking. That's oh. not good. Now, as you can see, it's in pretty rough shape. It looks like the port's busted, so without a way to charge up the battery, we may not have much time to find any clues. Oh shit! This is time. On the device. Okay, it's it's just I, I I've never gone through her private things before. It it doesn't feel right. Well, that's really no problem, ma'am. In cases like this, it's fairly typical to get a search warrant in order to gain access to evidence contained on any. No, um, that that's okay. I can I can do it. Fair enough. Thank you for your cooperation, Mrs. Hayes. Okay, so we're playing now, as the we're mom. looking for any clue as to where she might have headed and with whom. Emails, texts, even photos can be very telling when it comes to locating a missing teen. Now, I'm due back at the station. And I'll leave this with you, and I'll be back in an hour. Two hours tops. Detective Jones, uh, how do I... What are the odds that we're going to find her? We're doing everything we can, ma'am. That's kind of sad. Just let us know I'm going what you through find. so much right now. I promise I'll be back later, but not right away. I'm sorry, L. I think that's what the letter was saying. So we're playing as the mom, and the girl ran away. But there has to be a reason why. What the hell's this? Oh notes. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with Z. Hey, birthday! Woo! We're still going out, right? LOL, yeah. Elliot is too. He's like the plague, just kidding. Never alone, are we? Oh, alone? Yeah, so I can punch and kiss you and stuff. Rolls eyes. So romantic. What can I say? I'm a softie. I'm betting you overslept, so I'll write this too. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Hey, I think you're cute. Gross. Yep, I think you're cute too. Ugh, gag. Buy me a soda at lunch. L, can we talk? Please? L? That's not good. How do I go back? Oh, there we go. This is like an iPhone. I don't own an iPhone, so I don't know how the system operates sometimes, so please forgive me. This is from Elliot. The last one is Z. I'm assuming the other one is a girl? I don't know. Let's go, birthday girl. Can we have all day for you to powder your nose or whatever? Hey, hey, hey. Jeez, what? I'm sitting right here. Happy birthday. Uh, where are you this morning? Pop quiz Dodger. Crap, I overslept my mom's piss. The school called. Uh oh, too much birthday, kid. L. Did you get my message? Don't make me beg. You're never going to pass the test if you keep copying, I'm, but I'm so sad. Ugh, fine. But miss a couple of something. Dang, you aced it. I know I did because I did the work. Love you. Be safe. Be safe? Did she tell Elliot that she's leaving? Don't be out too late. It's a school night. Ellen? Yeah, mom? Just making sure you, you saw this. Okay, it's getting late. Ellen? Ellen Elizabeth Hayes, you need to call me now. Call me. I'm outside word when you're done. When will you be back from dinner? Dad says he'll bring me home by nine-ish. Well, tell him not much later than that. Don't want your sleep getting thrown off. Almost home? On our way. Okay, I'm outside. Almost done? I see your friend Elliot. Something about an argument? Ellen? I'm still outside. Are you in there? Ellen? I called- I've called a few times. You need to pick up. Call me, Ellen. I left another message. It's getting serious. Call me. Ellen? Ellen, this is bad. Like, don't do that to your parents. I know kids, like, like don't want to, like, answer their parents when they're like, Hey, are you home yet? Are you coming home? Or whatever. Don't do that. That's so, like, bad. You don't know, like, what it does to them. They're not trying to be annoying. They're just trying to make sure you're safe. So just say, hey, yeah, I'm coming. Or even if you're late, it doesn't matter. It's not bad. Okay, dad. 
Hi, I got your voicemail. Thanks. And yeah, I'm with friends. Good. You still see Z? Uh, yeah, she's here. She says hi. Elliot does too. Okay, well, have fun, Bug. I lo Thanks, I love you. Love you too. Hey, Dad, can you can I stay with you after school today? Gosh, Bug, bad night for tonight. Everything okay? Yeah, I just wanted to see you. Did you have a good birthday? Yeah, hey, I gotta run to class. Love ya. Hey, left you a voicemail. Did you get it? Bug? Yeah? Just dinner tonight after the lawyers? Yeah, sorry. Can I invite Mom too? I mean, she'll be there before, obviously. Ellen Bug, I don't think that's such a good idea. Okay, so obviously the parents are divorced, so this is kind of hard on Ellen. Maybe she's just, like, ran away because she's upset about, like, she's overwhelmed. Along with her parents' divorce, there's, like, a lot of other stuff going on, right? Uh, why, why not? You guys have to talk, too. It says so in the joint custody. I know, but maybe not right after the lawyers. Your mother should have some time. But hey, we can have fun, right? You heard of Sal's? Uh, we'll get some big ice cream boat just for us. Okay, Dad. Bug, your mother called. You didn't come home? Ellie? Ellie Bug? Uh-oh. So, no one has seen her at that certain date. That's not good. Okay. Voicemail passcode is a four-digit number. Oh, dear. Recently dis deleted? Holy shit. How many voice things did they have? Okay, let's just... Pick up your phone! Hey! <laughs> Happy birthday, Ellie Bug. I can't believe it. 16 already. Well, well, I bet you're out having fun with your friends, so I hope you have a good one. Or I'll, I'll see you this weekend, okay, Bug? Love you. Okay. Hey, your food's getting cold, but it's your birthday. Hey, you're in the bathroom right now, which is probably she's, why you didn't pick up. She's close with Z and Elliot. Drunk? Shut up. I know you haven't been having a ton of fun with your folks lately and all, but hey, it's going to be awesome. Oh, I see you. Hey, hey, I love you. I love you. Bye. How much do you want to bet she's actually like in love with her? <laughs> Ellen Elizabeth Hayes, I just got a call from your school. You missed your first class. You have to be responsible for yourself to get up in the morning. Just because it was your birthday yesterday is no excuse to miss. Call me immediately after you get this. Hey, got your message. It's gonna be okay. Your mom's just mad. It's what moms do, okay? It'll be fine. Plus, you totally got to skip Nelson's pop quiz, so hey. That's you should me. not miss school. And I know, I know they're kids, it happens, happens, but you shouldn't, you, you know, you shouldn't miss it. You should at least try to get there. Hey, Elle, please don't forget that I'm picking you up after school so we can go finalize everything with... So who does she player. live with? The dad? You're gonna go to your father's for the weekend, so I'm just putting together some stuff for you. Um, let me know if you need anything specific, but don't text during class. <sighs> we'll get through all this, okay, bug? Love you. Bye. Ow! Pick up your Is Z like drunk phone. all the time when she leaves a voicemail? Pick up your phone. Please. Pick up your phone. I love you. See, I'm telling you, I'm telling you she's gay for her. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Hey, Elbug, I am really looking forward to seeing you today. I was thinking maybe we could go out to a, a salad for dinner. How's that sound? Hey, um, hey, listen, after we're done with dinner, uh, slight change of plans, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take you back to your mom's. I, I got an early morning the next morning, so, 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 yeah, I will, I will talk to you later today. Bye-bye. L, 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 Ellen, hey, I totally forgot about Nelson's stupid, um, paper thingy for tomorrow. And then he cheats done, off of her. Right? Uh, I still need, like, most of the answers. It's so dumb. Help me out. Help me out, Al. Okay. All right, call me. Hi, you're sitting right next to me, but I just wanted to tell you that I love you. Okay, bye. <laughs> See, every message of Z is just like, I just wanted to tell you I love you. Like... <laughs> Hey, I'm waiting outside to pick you up. Don't see you yet. Oh, Elliot. Elliot! Hey, Elliot! Uh, yes, okay. Hi, is Elle on her way out? Um, I haven't seen her since the argument. So oh. I think she's coming. 
Okay. Says the argument. Uh, thank you. If they you mentioned that in the text too. To call me, please. Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, that was Elliot. He said something about an argument. Um, call me, please. Ellen, it's been a long day, and I'm tired. You know I don't care if you spend the afternoon over at Z's house as long as you check in about it first. So, unless I hear otherwise, I'm expecting you home for dinner, young lady. Mm-hmm. Um. Stupid. What? What happened? Ellen, where are you? I called Z's mom. She said you had a fight. She doesn't know where you are. Oh, so she had a fight with Z then. Call me. Does Z say something to her? Or did she say something to Z? Ellen, it's mom. Call me. Ellen, I've been up all night. Where are you? I found your note running away. Ellen, that's childish. You need to call me. This is not funny. Call me and get home now. Ellen, I am worried sick here. Oh, I feel I bad for the mom. Anymore. I called your father. He thinks we should call the police. Ellen, you need to call me. Ellen Hayes, this is Detective Jones calling from the Metro PD. Uh, we've gotten a report from a Diane Hayes, your mother, uh, that you've been out of contact for several hours after leaving a note. We need you to call and confirm your location immediately, or we'll be moving on to the next courses of action. My number is 555-831-2525 at extension 143, and again, this is Detective Jones. Yeah, and then she didn't call back. Elle, this is your mother. We are really worried about you here. It's not her, it's her voicemail. Please. Ellen, please come home. Okay. There's some deleted stuff. Recoverable is five. Uh, oh shit, she needs a password. I still don't know what that is, so I guess we're gonna have to like look for it. On like what it could be. Um, her notes are in her password to email. Full story. This app was deleted when destroyed the cloud. This one doesn't have enough memory to compare. It. Please delete uh, data to access feature. Damn. Pictogram? Oh my god, is this like Instagram? Dad's Albug? Who's Dad Bug? Is that her dad? It's my birthday. These weirdos have shown up the best time. Oh no, this is um uh uh L's profile, is it? No. Um what's slappy duck? Oh my god! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh okay, so you slap the duck and stuff, right? Okay, cool. Jesus Christ, why? Battery remaining. Memory storage. Okay, I don't know if we can like restart it. Uh, maybe it's in the Instagram thing. Four digits. O seven one seven. Maybe. Dude, I got it. I got it. Oh, I got it. It was O seven eleven. Okay. Hey, Elbug. Um, I didn't want to tell you this way, but I don't want you getting home and not knowing where your um, your your dad and I. I, I know, I know you know it's been a little rough, more than a little, um, between us lately. Um, we're gonna spend some time apart, baby. So um, this is before the divorce. I don't know if it's permanent yet. I don't know if we, we, we just don't know. But, um, but we love you. Both of us. That's really important for both of us that you know that. Okay, well, um, I'll see you after school, Elle. Bye. Hey, I know you're asleep by now, and it's technically not really your birthday anymore. But happy birthday, Elle. I know we both say it a lot, but I love you. See? No jokes, no gushy, gross stuff. I just love you. Okay, I'll... See you tomorrow at school. Do you know how Bye. I know she's like fucking gay for L? It's because like every this is like every gay person, uh, when you're in love with your best friend, but you can't say because you're not sure if they're in love with you or they may be straight or whatever, you just say I love you. They think they mean it, you know, you mean it platonically, but in reality you you're actually in love with them. The amount of times Z has said I love you in every message is just screaming gay. <laughs> Hi, Ellie 
figure you didn't pick up because you're mad at me and... Well, I get it, babe. Hey, your mother isn't trying to ruin your life. I... I promise. She's just being your mom like she's supposed to. She loves you. Yeah. She just... She just goes about loving a little differently. But she loves you so much. I know that. I, I do too. I... Listen, this has all been so hard on you. I, I know. I, I wish I could make it easier. I just... Just call me when you can, okay? I love you, Elbug. Ellie! Ellie, I'm sorry. I don't know what I did, but I can fix... I just want to make this better. Does she do? I know we can. Please, please, just call me. I want to talk this through more. I'm so sorry for yelling. I didn't mean that everyone was watching. God, please, Ellie. I need to talk to you. I love you, okay? I love you. She didn't mean to yell, so... Maybe she, maybe she, like Z confessed her feelings to her, and then Elle's like not sure about it, so she rejected her, and then Z got mad. Hey Elle, uh, rough day, huh? <laughs> oh, I, I'm I'm sorry uh, that it all went down like that, but um, Z's really upset, and uh, I I don't know what happened really, but can you give me a call or message me, okay? I really like you two together, uh, and Elle, I. Okay, I, I saw you writing that note to your mom on your phone about how you were thinking of going away. And I get it if you need some space, but at least put down where you're going or something, okay? We kind of like you around here, my dude. Like, I know your folks will be worried sick if they can't get a hold That's of you. That's a good friend. Time. Elliot's a good friend. Uh, think about it. Because, like, you know, obviously, like, Ellie's, like, distraught over whatever happened between her and Z, but, like, at least she has one friend who's just like, hey, at least, you know, like, let your parents know that you're okay. Write down your the address where you are. It'll be alright. Oh, man, that's a good friend. Oh, we got a new text. Z. L? Uh-oh, she's typing. I can't stand this. I need I need to delete the music and then look at the, the, the apps, too, in the notes. Ellie, I'm not ready to be done loving you. I know you were one to get away from all this, but I can't do this without you. I feel greedy even saying this to you, but Elle, I love who I am with you. This stuff with your family, all this garbage. Please, I want to be with you through it. I'm so sorry we fought. I shouldn't have. I should I should remember what you're dealing with. It's so hard. I'm sorry. Please at least send me a message or call me or something. I need to know you're okay. Oh, man. Wait, were they actually dating already? I don't even know. Okay, can I, I'm gonna delete the music. Delete. Delete. There we go. Okay, we should have some, like, memory storage. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, okay, we'll just download the, the email then for a while. What? Okay, um... To Mrs. Hayes, your absent was noted from class today. We have a quiz during class hours, which you have forfeit. Today's assignment includes page blah blah blah. Answer questions on the front at the end of the section. I hope to see you in class tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Um, it's been an eventful month with the posts of our latest episode about relationships and the launch of a spin-up podcast, Talking Rocks, and analysis of Rock Hard Place podcast. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's a transcendent exploration of the work of flagship podcasts is viewed as the finely meshed sleeve of knowledge and wisdom. It is hosted and presented once again by me. Please follow along with this latest endeavor, and I hope to see you on su sunny, sandy, rocky shores of brilliance. Okay. Uh, get to know us more. Thank you so much for visiting the online home of Lakeview Community Rentals. We hope you'll get the opportunity to explore an array of rustic cabins and lakeside homes to make your next vacation truly lakes sortatory. Wait, so she was trying to get a cabin? Please feel free to reach out to us via email, and one of our shoreline specialists will reply to you in the next business day. Thank you for remembering when you're here. The water calls. Okay. She just... 2,678 unread emails. Girl, you gotta, like, look at that. Maybe I can delete the emails then? I don't know. Let's delete this app. Um... Do the messenger first. 
Ooh, Elliot B. Okay, happy birthday, Z invited me. Yeah, I know, it'll be fun. Psh, yeah, duh, I'm going. It's my birthday, and my gifts, I'm coming. Also, I'll get you an ice cream or something, because I'm awesome. My hero. I know you're gonna tell Z you're swooning over me. I'm pretty sure she, would be, she won't be worried. How the tardiness go over? Mom's still pissed? Yeah, bleh, sorry. Yeah, SOS, I left you a message. Yeah, I got it. So, hang on, I'll call you in a bit. Z was looking for you. Uh, hey, did you get my voicemail? Did ya? Did ya? Did ya? Oh, yes, gosh. Okay, good. Also, happy early birthday. Elliot wants to come too. That cool? Yeah, of course. Okay, I'll invite. Also, it's your birthday here too. Woohoo! LOL, shut up. Hey, L, wake up. I bet you're sleeping. My sleeping beauty. Ugh, you're late for class. I'll text it to you. I'll call you. Nelson's gonna be pissed if, uh, if I keep being on my phone and it's your fault. Ugh! Hey, got your voicemail. Thanks. I needed that. Love you. I know. Star Wars, you're perfect. Also, I know. Hey, you left your phone plugged here on your computer. Yes, I've been flipping my room looking through it. Bring it tomorrow, please? Nah, I'ma keep it. But it's my life. I'ma look at all the stuff. You can try. Can I listen to your message from your birthday? Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. No, I deleted it. But that was art. Oh, but you can undelete voicemail's password, and then I got the password already. Appropriate. Got it. It's so good. I'm deleting it. You're keeping it forever. I'm betting he's copied most. All. I love the dork, but you're a saint. I'm gonna wring his neck. LOL, I read the last one when you sound like your dad. Shush. Oh, you never said that. What happened to the weekend at parades? Didn't happen. I know that, you said, but I like- Why? Had to work. Huh? How is this- How is that- How is all that stuff? The parenting splitting stuff? Yeah. The paperwork was- The paperwork was last week, it's official now. Oh, Ellie, I'm sorry. Why didn't you tell me? Did you want- Do you want me to call? No, it's fine. I mean- this stuff isn't. You okay though? Yeah, I'm okay. Skill one to you're an absolute ten. I roll. Trying to look out for you. Trying to look out for yourself again, Vane. Goober. What was up with Nelson's? Nothing. But you didn't even look at me. I was like throwing you all these looks. It's nothing. Alice, something up? No, okay. Just give me some space. What's wrong? You're worrying me. Ellie, where you at? Can we talk at lunch, please? No, I just need some time, okay? I'm coming to find you. What happened? Okay. Uh, Ellie, hello, it's your mother. Yeah, mom, it says who you are. How do you make a uh, letter small? You're- uh, LOL, you're yelling at me. <laughs> That's like every, like, parent. How do I do this on the phone? <laughs> I'm not yelling, but I don't know how to unhit the shift button. Caps lock. Yeah, what is it? I left you a message. Call me. Oh, shit, I just realized the battery's low. Oh, fuck. Okay, no, 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 wait. I didn't- I didn't even realize that the battery was going down! I was just so focused on this game. Shit, the battery's 18 plus. Get, damn it. Hello everyone, my name is Ellen. Everybody calls me Elle. Yep, that's a letter. Um... I was spending time with my friends watching movies and generally love. Proud to be a member of the LGBT plus community! I fucking knew it! They're gay! What did I say? I knew it! Bellbug? Oh, I got it! It's Elbug! Okay. Uh, that's what her dad calls her. Poem 1. Maybe we're not meant to stay together in the end, like maybe one plus one makes two, and two plus one makes three, but how can you divide a house in half and keep the pieces whole, and even if you could, that would make it really- would that make it really right? For the record, I don't hate you, I just absolutely loathe the situation that you technically blame- to blame for. To be honest, I've been trying to accept that even fathers make mistakes, but I am running out of space for empathy these days. The dad? You, watching from the window, as if the house across the street burns down, someone else's life reduced to ash, as you light up a cigarette and listen to the siren song approaching the distance. I made you everything, made you yourself an arsonist, built your heart into a home for us, then burned it to the ground after all. We were a perfect match, doomed to catch a flame. Okay, Mom, I'm going. There's something I want to tell you, but I can't think about how you would reply, so I'll write them down here. The first thing I want you to know is that I love you. I know I haven't told you in a while, and I've caught up, uh, and I've caught you wincing a little when you see me telling Dad. I don't know why, but I've always had a really hard time telling you how I feel about anything. That's not your fault. That's mine. I should tell. I should be telling you because it's true. I love you, Mom. Second, I'm mad at you, but not for. Second, I'm mad at you. It's not fair for me to be, and I know it, but I am. I'm mad at you. I'm mad at Dad. And you did love each other, I remember. 
I was really little and we were in the kitchen, the old house. You were cooking something and I was sitting on the counter. Dad snuck up behind you. He winked at me and grabbed you around the waist. You got so scared that you dropped the bowl. Whatever it was went absolutely everywhere. Dad just laughed and he kissed you on the cheek. Then he kissed me and started cleaning up. You smiled. Why did that have to go away? And I'm just so tired. I feel like I've been a bit a big weight. And my friends have been carrying me around. Like, Z keeps trying to fix everything, but she really can't. Really, I'm stopping her from trying, and I don't know why. Maybe I'm scared. Really? Because I really, really care about her. But you cared about Dad, and now he's living in a crappy apartment across town. So I'm sorry. But I really need to have some time. I'm heading out to the cabin we all used to go to in the summer. I looked up the rental number. The guy who owns it isn't renting it to anyone for the next couple of weeks, so he said I could stay. He remembers us from when we were a family, and I want to remember that too. Something happens, you can call the cabin at that number. I'll be safe, I promise. I saved my birthday money, so I'll have food and stuff. Please just let me be alone for a while, okay? I need to figure some of this all out. Please don't be mad, L. Oh... Can we call her then? So she wanted to go there to get away. I guess she's scared to like, um, love Z because like she's afraid that it will turn to like what happened to her parents because they were all happy and stuff and then all of a sudden they're not. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Ellie. really nice that was a really nice short game it's kind of it's kind of sad just because some it happens to a lot of people like this is like a very normal thing unfortunately like when people get divorced or like something tragic happens in the family uh, usually it's the kids who can't handle it because like they're still young and it's still hard for them to process I mean adults can't handle it either right it's hard too but it's a lot harder for younger people just because um, they don't understand what's going on. Okay, so that was the end of L. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my playthrough of it. But um, yeah, I, I do like the fact, first of all, I knew everybody was gay in this game. <laughs> so Ellie wanted a relationship with Z. They finally confessed to each other, but I think Ellie just pushed her away just because she was afraid of being in a relationship with her just because of what happened to her parents. Because like she said in her note, they were happy before when they were sh when she was young. They were always loving each other, smiling at each other, saying they love each other, and blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden it went away and Ellie didn't understand like why that happened. And I guess it's like any, you know, any other kind of relationship, sometimes like feelings change, like you change as a person or uh, something happens and you can't like deal with it anymore. So your love for the person changes and it, it's okay, but sometimes it can affect other people, like example, family members, unfortunately. So Ellie felt all of that. And since she wasn't in the relationship, she doesn't know like what happened between her mom and dad. She's just like, what if I love Z? And then all of a sudden later on in life, I'm just like, I don't love you anymore. And I don't understand why. And then it would just ruin everything because Z is an important person to her. I think that's what was happening. She just was afraid to love her. And that's why she wanted to go away, be alone for a while because she couldn't deal with her parents divorcing. Z being in love with her. And then Elliot was just trying to be like, hey, you, know, you should stay together with her. Don't do anything um, bad. And uh, she just couldn't take it. That was a really nice short game. I really enjoyed it. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you think. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you know when I upload the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Excellent. You are now Romance Cop. <laughs> Wait, you can't just change my title! Come on, my subordinate. Where are we going? To investigate. And sometimes that brings people together in a not-so-cute way. Here are six terribly awkward romances in video games. Number six. Cole and Elsa.